Hey everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live. Uh, and also welcome to Draw This in Your Style. My name is Cody. I will be your host for the next hour. Today we are joined by the wonderful guest and illustrator, um, Annika. Annika Agarwal. How are you doing, Annika? I'm doing good, Cody. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to have day two going. So if you guys missed it and you're, you just got here, you're very curious, confused. Today is day two and you're like, where's day one? Okay, well, day one was last week. We had a little bit of an internet snafu. Um, my internet just decided to tank really bad and me and Annika could not do day two after day one. So if you guys would like to check out day one, feel free to do so. That will be linked down below in our video library. Um, but also if you guys have never been to draw this in your style and you're curious about what this is, um, basically, Draw This in Your Style is when an artist will uh, create a piece of art and upload it and invite everyone and anyone to recreate that piece of art in their own personal artistic style. And me and Anna, Annika have been doing that this week and last week. Um, and we chose a theme, which was winter sports. And we each drew an illustration and then we swapped it. And now we're, we are recreating each other's illustration in our own styles. Um, but... We will show you those in just a few minutes, but I will hand it over to Annika um, for her uh, to be able to show you guys uh, the kind of work that she does and give you an idea of who she is. Awesome, thanks Cody. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I know draw this in your style is something that I could never say correctly. So DTIYS, is that right? Yes, yes, DTIYS. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> it takes some practice, but I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but anyway, if you guys don't know me, my name is Annika. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator based out of New Delhi, India. It is currently 4 a.m. here. And um, I don't know, what time is it where you are? <laughs> Let us know in chat. I am uh, a very experimentative, experimentative designer and illustrator. I like to experiment with new styles. I used to work with pastel colors before, but now I've been moving on to other colors and expanding my reach in a way. And um, and draw this in your style is like a perfect way to celebrate that. And so I would encourage everybody in chat to draw along or participate with us. Use the hashtag. We will be sharing some entries later, I think. Right, Cody? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yeah, um, that's pretty much about me. I stream here on Behance every week, Fridays. So you can catch me on my Behance page. And yeah, get in touch if you have uh, any queries about my process or stuff like that. That's That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Annika uh, streams on Behance regularly. So go follow her on Behance as well. And on her Instagram, as I'm showing here right now, you can check out uh, some of her wonderful, wonderful illustrations. And she also comes on Adobe Live as a guest and host uh, every once in a while as well. So you can catch her uh, more times on here. Um, so absolutely. yeah, let's, yeah, let's hop over to Photoshop and we can show you guys what we have been working on. Um, so this illustration right here um, was the one that I created that Annika is redrawing. And this is the one that Annika drew that I am going to be recreating. And so we started, um, I think, Annika, you were kind of like working on like the base shapes and like kind of adding onto the sketch the last part um, that we were uh, drawing. And then I kind of like started on the coloring process. So we're going to just continue on from there. Yeah, um, I have this that was like my day one progress, but I did work behind the scenes a little because this was not going to get completed in two hours. <laughs> so I kind of added some highlights and shadows uh, behind the scenes. So I have something else. This is my thing that I am going to start working on with today. I'll start adding colors and texture to this. There is There are some areas that I might need to add highlights and shadows because I feel like there are some things that are missing here. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm working in Adobe Illustrator. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. You're actually our first guest on Draw This In Your Style that has worked in Illustrator. So that's a really cool change. I like that. Yeah, I love that. I feel like Illustrator is not given enough credit for vector illustrations and always just showcase for like branding and design, mm -hmm. which is also great. I do that and I love that. But um, illustration is also something that you can do in Illustrator, also on the iPad. That's pretty great for organic stuff. If yeah, you absolutely. Want to that. Yeah. And hi, everyone. I just realized I haven't said hi to everyone yet. Welcome in, everyone. Sam, Gareth, Viola, Steve, Umicorn, Christelle, Sask, uh, Frank, 
Uh, oh my gosh, Odari, welcome everyone. So good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping in, Stuart. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. Hey, RB, Rob. Hey, Jack. Thank you all so much for joining us today. And Sorry. also, so go ahead. <laughs> no, Sorry. no worries. Go ahead. I was just going to say, if you guys uh, would like to recreate either mine or Annika's illustrations, feel free to post them online with hashtag Adobe Live DTIYS on Instagram and also on the Photoshop Discord under the Draw This In Your Style channel. And as Annika mentioned earlier, at the end of the stream, like the last five-ish minutes or so, we're going to be going over... Um, or showing off rather some community entries. And we have a handful of ones um, for this uh, topic already. So it's really awesome to see those. I've really been enjoying seeing the entries pop up online. Yeah, absolutely. I wanna give a shout out to Stuart who did both of ours and that was pretty yes. neat. Yes, that's awesome. I It's so <laughs> incredible when um, I see somebody do both, um, that yeah. is just like above and beyond, like so incredible. Oh my gosh. I, I really applaud the artists that take the time to uh, out of their day to do both of them. That's so fun to see um, two completely different illustrations, but also um, both in that one person's style. It's really fun. Yeah. Love that. Oh, I love that you added all that color as well. Pretty neat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm kind of, um, I don't know if you do this, Annika, but sometimes I go back to my old artwork and I kind of like steal color palettes from my old artwork that I like, where I, I like tried a different combination of colors and I liked it so much that I just used that combination in other artwork pieces. So yeah. um I'm stealing the color palette from this illustration that I did a couple of years ago. <laughs> this ice oh skating. nice I've seen that one yeah this ice skating illustration um so I'm just kind of like uh, color dropping the colors from it and reusing it for this one that's pretty neat yeah I do that I always steal my color balance <laughs> I did make a library for it but then uh, sometimes there are gradients that you can't put in DC libraries um right so I just go back to those files I'm like okay let's go back Do you guys in chat ever do that? Steal color palettes from your, your old artwork? Hey, work smarter, not harder, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm <very> <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Ryan Selby said that's plagiarism, Cody. <laughs> I'm plagiarizing my own work. <laughs> Is it though, Ryan? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Christelle. Oh, so cute, Cody. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Gwen says yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't buy that. I don't think that's true. Um, okay. I'm glad I did some of the work on this because I wouldn't have been able to finish this. <laughs> Yeah, I really love um, your drop shadow or your the reflection rather of the that you did in the in the ice. That looks really good. Yeah, this this I think this needs some work, but <laughs> um, it it was it was good fun doing this. And it was so easy to do it as well. I mean, I was like, okay, let's just flip it. We have a shadow. Oh, yeah, reflection. definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's a really easy way of just. Yeah. Throwing in a reflection is just copying and then kind of using the transform tools to just kind of manipulate it a little bit. I do that all the yeah. time. That's exactly what I did, but I messed it up a little over here because I use the shear tool instead of the free transform. And I was like, hmm, why didn't I use the fear? Fear, free transform. <laughs> <laughs> Streaming. Um. Okay. Um, Dark Hours in chat says, uh, I got to try this one out today. I think the subject matter couldn't be further away from what I usually do, which is super exciting. Yeah, it gets you out of your comfort zone, trying something new, you know, it's always good. Absolutely. 
Yeah, and I love that it's also in theme with the Winter Olympics that are going on right yes. now. Yes, uh, speaking, of, it's it's totally, totally coincidence. We totally didn't plan this, but yeah. Voodoo Val and um, did Shauna <laughs> did a hockey jersey uh, stream earlier today. And now Annika is drawing my hockey player, which is just really funny. I was hoping that it would work out this way after I found out they were going to be doing that stream. So if you guys want to check out that stream, um, yeah, you can find it, uh, linked down below in our video library. Um, yeah, it was a really cute stream. I would highly recommend it. Yeah. Really fun. Love what Val created. Quite part of it, but it was really fun. Okay. Let's see. Steve says, that is one mighty duck. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Heck yeah, mighty ducks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seems like this is good for now. I might go in and add some shadows when I, once I have color, but I did say that I'm going to use Cody's color palette. So that's going to be challenging. That's true. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, oh my no. gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> You just held you yourself to the challenge and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> um, I did make colors out of it. So these are some colors and gradients that I might use for this. I might also go ahead and use recolor artwork because I use that a lot uh, when mm. I have to make color variations. So I'll just get my swatches out just to show you guys what I have here. This is a folder that I'm using. Um, that's it. And now I'm just going to select everything and see how that works. If it doesn't work, I can always go back and fix it. So that's not an issue. That's the great thing about digital art. Absolutely. Okay. Save, save your work, guys. Yes. Before do anything. <laughs> Everyone save your work. Don't forget. Okay. Oh, wow. That looks <laughs> terrifying. Okay, so uh, this is really weird if you don't know how, like it takes a little bit to understand recolor artwork, but it's amazing at what it does. Um, so let's see if I can fix it. Oh, how does it work exactly? Could you explain it for those that have never used it before, like me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have used it in Photoshop, but it's, it's very similar to how it works. <laughs> Um, so you know how in Photoshop you can add curves and levels and also color change and use like just one color out of the colors that you have in your illustration and exaggerate that field. The same mm -hmm. way you can do that in Illustrator. The only thing that I'm doing here is selecting everything. Now that I have my values and if my values work correctly, in this case, I like to think they have been working correctly. I select everything on my artwork and go to edit and edit colors. And there's this cute little uh, panel that opens up. It says recolor artwork and you have all the swatches that are default swatches in the system. You can either use that or use uh, your own color palette that you have created. I have that in my swatches, which is basically the colors that I got off your illustration and tweak them a little just so that they're RGB um, perfect, not out of, not out of gamut. So um, I pick that as my color palette and instantly picks up and replaces the values with the colors that are darker and colors that are lighter. You have various options here, changing colors randomly or changing the saturation and brightness, or you can also mess with uh, the saturation on color wheel with, with these values as well. Now there are advanced options here, which are also very, very fun to explore, but I only go into that once I already have color selected, not in grayscale because it can sometimes really mess up how the colors work for me. That's just my process. But um, for right now, I'm just going to go over here and select my color palette. Usually how I work about it is I go to art history and go to Renaissance or Russian poster art. That just exaggerates the colors that I already have and puts them to colors that I would never use, but also make it look brilliant at the same time. So um, that's pretty neat. I feel like that's kind of like cheating, but also using the tools to your advantage. So I do that sometimes. Yeah, like, that is really cool. That is such a cool um, tool. I don't think it's been around for too, too long. Um, and I yeah. I think that I've I've heard um, the talk about it on Adobe Live a couple of times, but because I don't use Illustrator, it kind of went over my head a little bit, but um, I can definitely tell that the tool is really powerful. Yeah, it hasn't been along, uh, around for that long. I mean, the advanced options at least haven't been around, but there used to be a free script 
um that i used to use called the random swatches so if you guys have heard of it 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 used to be fun um paul tranny used to use it all the time but um now i'm tweaking some of the values in here um with the i think i'm on the brightness and hue so i'm changing the brightness of the blues that i have here and that is slowly oh i missed it it was good for a second <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's what is tricky about this um but yeah let's see how this works we'll see we'll see okay. that's that's what i always say when i'm i'm working on a color palette we'll see <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, now that I have these colors, the contrast is pretty bad on these. Um, so I'm gonna go to edit colors and recolor artwork again, just to see how what if I can work with this. Uh, if not, I'll just go and color pick from these swatches that I have created. And um, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Oh, that does not work. So it's kind of like manual at this point. You have to go in and select whatever you like and then just run with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. If you exaggerate some of the blues. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I think I'm done with my experiment. And now I'm just going to go back and color pick. I just undo everything. All right. <laughs> okay. um. uh, Alana Flowers says, uh, oh, wow, that's a handy color trick. I never knew about that, Annika. Welcome, Alana. Good to see you. Hey, Alana. Yeah. Yeah, it's comparatively new, so a lot of people don't use it yet. Also, it's kind of intimidating, just like a lot of people are intimidated by After Effects. But once you get into it, it's pretty easy. And you get addicted to it. Okay. Um. Let's see. Maybe I want this color to be like a lighter color. So I have my color swatches here that I'm color picking from. Um. If you guys are interested, it's kept a little on the side. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, you can. Okay. Cool. Um. Maybe this color. Oh, I really like the um, the added like yellow color that you're putting into the sky. That looks really nice. Yeah, I always like to add gradients just to show that it's like further away from the foreground. I don't know if that makes sense. That make yeah, sense? all of the gradients that you put into um, your original penguin piece that we're doing today looks really beautiful. I really like the way that you did the sky and the the smoke. There's a ton of gradients on the smoke as well. It's really pretty. Yeah. You would be surprised to know that it's just, just one gradient. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It doesn't look that way. It looks more complex than it really is, which is neat. Yeah, Illustrator is fun that way. OK, let's see. Um, maybe I want this color for all the trees. This is so different for me because I never, ever use so many browns in my illustrations. <laughs> it's so new to me. Does this even look right? Questioning myself. Okay, and um, okay. Um, I think I kind of like the direction of this. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's kind of like sepia toned almost. Yeah, it's really pretty. Hey, Laura, welcome. Good to see you. Oh, no, I lost some things. I lost some detail. I color picking. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you like yellow as a color for illustrations? Normally, do you use that a lot? Um, I do. I do have actually I have like five yellows in my palette um but they're more of like a golden color than like a pure yellow like here's like yeah. my favorite yellow that I use it's kind of like a golden honey color like a mustard okay, got it. mustard yeah. color yeah so I don't really like use this is this the one you're referring to yeah kind of kind of uh yeah like more like orange more orangey than yellow yeah, yeah. that makes sense
everyone in chat, what's your favorite colors to work with? Do you have like favorite colors, favorite color palette, um, or even just like favorite tones, um, tones of one color? Super quiet. We both are just concentrating now. I know. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Ooh, Christelle like, oh. says turquoise and mint. Oh, that's that's nice. I have a I have a mint color that I use in my palette nowadays. Um, it's kind of new to me, but I'm really I'm really liking mint lately. I don't think I've ever used mint in my color palette, but that would be nice with these browns. I see why you use them, Cody. <laughs> Uh, Wade says that uh, the less saturated Annika's is, the more it looks like an old Disney cartoon. I agree. That's so true. It, it definitely looks like a vintage cartoon. I like that. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I saved a copy of this file because I would regret it if I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like grayscale looks better than color to me. Mm. But I don't know. I am like so attached to color. I, I sometimes will work in grayscale. Like I have done a uh, grayscale for inktober in the past. Um, yeah. but even then it's kind of like more of a chromatic black than a pure black, um, kind of more of, of a brownish black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Not, not quite black. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in the little penguin's face now. Um, so he doesn't look like he's turned away from us anymore. <laughs> it looks like we're looking at his back this whole time because his face isn't drawn in. <laughs> add in his cute little cheeks. Trying to look at chat, but it's so overwhelming to look at chat and work at the same time. <laughs> Everyone's just uh, throwing in all their favorite colors. We got yellow, reds and pinks, greens and blues, navy and pink, red, blue, black and white, uh, blues and reds, uh, bright, vibrant colors. Very cool, you guys. Uh, Randall says reds. So now I have a, I have a challenge for you guys. Pick, take your favorite colors that you like to work with that you just mentioned in chat and pick your favorite subject that you like to draw and draw that subject in those colors. That's your homework. That's enough fun. That's enough fun. <laughs> oh no, you guys. So like, like, why did I answer? I this favorite chat. colors, purple. <laughs> favorite subject, dog. Gonna draw a purple dog. <laughs> that's fun actually i would do that i've been drawing cats lately um we have a very cool community friend who also streams mercurial and she does cat streams so Aww. she celebrates cat days and Aww. so at cat days you draw cats and i yeah. got inspired by her drawing cats <laughs> so i've been drawing cats in weird colors i, I made a purple cat the other day that's really that's fun, fun. kind of works i'm not really sure we, we'll see if it works i'm sure it looks great annika i think oh, it looks okay. i think it looks awesome i really like um the like gray blue tone that you have and uh, with the browns like i i've always really liked powder blue and brown together i always think it looks really nice um and then the yellow i think i think your palette looks great yeah, it's just weird to me because I've never really worked with these colors all together. So it's yeah. just so new. I'm like, okay, maybe this does look good. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of that's kind of how I feel 
working when I work out of my comfort zone, just in general, you're just kind of like yeah. unsure of like, it kind of like goes against your gut feeling of what you naturally yeah. gravitate towards. So you're kind of like, Oh, I don't know. Does this look good? <laughs> you know, that's how I feel about when I work with blue tones. Cause I never work with blues. Um, <laughs> so blues are always really difficult for me. Yeah. It's just so hard, but that also means that you're pushing yourself and like learning something new. Exactly. Okay. This is fun thing. Uh, so this duck is hiding some of the fence behind him. And then and I didn't really go ahead and make detail on here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is just going to be hidden. Do I really need to make this? Oh, Mercurial's in the chat now. Oh Hi, Mercurial. Welcome. Okay, our penguin has a little face now. He's so much cuter now that he actually can see with eyes. Oh, I love that. There we go. It looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Who are you? What is this? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Weird element. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, everyone in chat. <laughs> nice. Also, thought I'd just throw it out there if you guys weren't here earlier and you want to recreate mine or Annika's uh, illustration, feel free to do so. Uh, you can post it online with the on Instagram with the hashtag #WLiveDTIYS, or you can post it on the Photoshop Discord under the Draw This in Your Style tab. And this one is the one that I am drawing that Annika is recreating currently, and this is the one that Annika drew that I am recreating currently. And you can choose one or both, or you can combine them. Sometimes people combine them into one illustration. Um, but yeah, we'd love to see your work. And towards the end of the stream, we're going to show off some of those community entries that have already been uh, posted online. So we're really looking forward to that. How do people combine two into one? That would be hard. Yeah, it's, ever done that. it's so interesting. Um, people are so clever with compositions. Like uh, I, I, that's, that's another fun part uh, for me for Draw This In Your Style is when people just totally change up the composition into something that I would have never thought of. And I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh, people in the community are so clever. They're such good artists. Absolutely. I was thinking I'm going to be adding texture by now, but that doesn't look like it. <laughs> I, I have to say, I really appreciate you like totally getting out of your comfort zone and being willing to do that on stream. Um, round of applause for Annika for using a color palette that she's not used to live on camera. Um, that takes a <laughs> lot of you, guts. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's kind of nerve wracking. That's kind of why I can't figure out what this pant light is going to be, but we'll get yeah. there. Hopefully. Yeah, for sure. We'll get there together. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like I try to put myself out of my comfort zone more when I'm especially doing a challenge. Like I did the 36 days of type for the first time last mm -hmm. year. And so I uh, didn't have to add motion to it at all, but I just went ahead and added motion because I wanted to learn After Effects. And I was like, what better a chance to do it every single day for 36 days or however many days just to get good at it and make it a habit. Yeah, definitely. And it works. Not that I use it every day now, but I know how to use it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, pretty neat. Oh, 
that's not going to work. So there are some challenges that are coming forward with these, but I'm not sure about those colors. But we'll see. <laughs> nice. Oh, I think I'm going to add snow to the trees next. I totally forgot to do that last stream. And I noticed oh. that you have um, like this splattered snow on the um, tree trunks. Yeah. And I wanted yeah. to kind of try out some of Kyle's um, splatter brushes on that. So we're gonna try this out here. I'm just gonna make a clipping mask over top of the tree so I can paint within that shape um, and not go outside of it. And I can just kind of freely use a splatter brush. Um, when I did the ice on uh, my original hockey hockey skater piece, hockey player piece, um, the texture on the ice that I, I used um, one of Kyle's brushes called Vinyl Scraper, um, and it nice. just like it was perfect. If you guys are looking for a texture for ice for any of your winter um, winter illustrations, I highly recommend that one. Like it instantly gave it really great texture with just a few swipes. It worked really well. Yeah, it looks great. I didn't even notice it that zoomed in unless you mention it, but it looks great. It works so perfectly that you know how something if doesn't if it doesn't work, it just jumps out at you. But if it works, it works. Exactly. Yeah. If it you know it works if it if you don't notice yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So these are very I'm making just colors right now. I might go ahead and change the opacity of some of these because some of these um lights are very very harsh so might just turn down the opacity later but we'll see <clears throat> uh hi steve welcome the ducks hockey uni looks really old school like early 1900s style look very cool that's what i always try to have that little bit of a like old world early vintage look to my uniforms whenever i uh, do sports illustrations. I don't do them very often, but I uh, I did a football player a while back and I did like the early 1900s football uniform too. And I'm probably going to do a baseball one at some point. Oh, nice. Wait, uh, is, is that on your Instagram? Is that where people can find it? Oh uh, yeah, I actually did the football player on Adobe Live a while back. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I remember the cats chatting on Adobe Live recently. I remember that one. That was also pretty fun. <laughs> Cats in a cafe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, forgot about that one. Yeah, that was fun. Let's see. Okay, let's pick, let's see, where's my splatter brushes here? Um, there's a few that I do like um, of Kyle's for snow a lot of the time. Let's see. This or the organic noise ones are really great. I like using them for snow. Um, I will usually bring up the brush and then spa just space it out and kind of use it as a stamp. Um, and I'll show you guys, I'll use this one for like, just like falling snow. Um, let's make a new layer here and I'll make it a little bigger. Oops, that's brown. We don't want brown snow, you guys. Okay, let's change our color. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah so it's, it could it's be fun though. <laughs> <laughs> Not really though. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's kind of just like blobby, just like like random blobby shapes, and it totally just looks like like little blobby s snowflakes, which I really like. That it kind of it's not like actual snowflake shapes, but it it definitely implies snow no snow shapes. So. I like that. It kind of adds character. <laughs> Don't eat the brown snow. Of course, somebody in yeah. chat had to say it. It had to be done. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing at that. Obviously, it had to be Ryan. For sure. You win. <laughs> oh, it was Ryan and CJ at the same time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> And then also another really great one um, that I like 
is, uh, let's see, actually, I think I have it in my favorites. Uh, yeah, Dots and Dusty Bits um, are, I love Kyle's brushes names, they're so funny, um, are some other really great ones. Um, just kind of like to add, just kind of randomly adding some dots here on the trees to kind of give that splattered effect. And then I'll go back towards the bottom and add in, maybe we'll try the vinyl scraper. I forget what pack it's in. Um, I think it's in... Can you search brushes if you know their names? You can do that in Photoshop, right? Uh, actually, yes, I think, yeah, here's a search bar right here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Vine, vinyl scraper, there we go. Well, no, wait, no, the eye. Yes, vinyl scraper. Here we go. I don't like this color. I'm kind of swaying off the color palette here, but I can't just figure out this leg. <laughs> hey, it's it's my color palette with a a an Annika with a twist. twist. Yes. <laughs> Love that. Maybe I'll just use this color for the leg. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep the leg gray. <laughs> I don't know yet. The struggle, you guys. The struggle. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll do this. No, maybe I'll do that. No, no. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Did you find the brush? Oh, I was Yes, I did. I added, <laughs> that's <laughs> totally fine. Um, yeah, so I just kind of like used a little bit of the dots and the vinyl, br uh, vinyl scraper and added some like snow up on the um, tree trunk. And I think I'm gonna go back and kind of add in some more of the um, crayon brush in there and kind of mix that in as well. Oh, what, what brush is that? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Um, the Conte Crayon oh, the con brush? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, it's yeah. the same brush that I always use, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's raining out here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's so weird. Times climate it's so weird <laughs> randomly rains is it snowing out there for you no it only snowed for like a few days uh this year um we got like two big spurts of snow but that was it <laughs> cj just said at this point kyle should just rename conte cran to cody cran <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be easier to find anyway <laughs> Speaking of which, nice. sneak peek for a couple episodes ahead, Kyle Webster is going to be on Draw This In Your Style with me. Um, wow. Yeah, at the end of February. So that's very exciting. It's going to be really fun. That is exciting. Yeah. Kyle did some uh, sneak peeks of that. Not sneak peeks, really, but Kyle just announced that, I think, during mm -hmm. the brush hour, I think. And I was like, oh, Kyle's doing a show with Cody. That's exciting. <laughs> Draw This In Your Kyle. <laughs> 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 oh man you gotta rename that for, for that episode sam said cody cran tm <laughs> it's official you guys it's official okay let's see oh the shot i forgot about the shadow no <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay let's just do this let's let's fix this Chad is going wild today. I love it. Yeah, it's so fun, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It's always it's always so fun when we got a lot of people in chat to hang out with us. Absolutely. Yeah. What is streaming without the chat? Exactly. Exactly. So true. Oh, I think I need to expand everything before I go any further. So let's do that. I think I'm going to make a copy of this just in case I mess something up. Good idea. Also, <laughs> everyone save your work. Don't forget to save your work. 
Yeah, save your work. Okay, let's see. Hey, Vanessa, it's raining. welcome. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was saying it's raining pretty badly. So if you guys lose me, it's probably the rain. You won't, oh, but no. just in case. <laughs> we only got a little bit of the stream left. Um, <laughs> so hopefully you won't, you yeah, won't no, I'm jump kidding. out of here yeah, early. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. You won't lose me. But just to be sure, just in yeah. case. Oh, that's something that I didn't notice earlier. What is this? What'd you find? What are these so many points? Why are you here? Get out of here. <laughs> Why are you here? I love that. <laughs> I don't necessarily like this pant. I think I'm just obsessing over it because I've lived at it for so long. And I just want to not look at it for a while until I figure out how it looks. Mm hmm I know that feeling. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> In Australia <laughs> just, just decided to die on me. Oh, oh no! This is scary. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's good. It's good. We're good. Okay. We're good. It's so easy to mess with you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, you guys. It's fine. We're good. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's under control. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay, cool. This looks good. Um, let's go with my appearance. Yeah, I definitely like the trees better. I haven't finished, but I like the trees better with the like the snow puddled like in the branches. That looks really nice. Oh yeah. I like the details that you're adding. It's really neat. It's so difficult to like talk and look at your work and look at my work and also do work. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> It's, it's multitasking to another level, level over 9,000. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like I'm kind of happy with these colors now. Nice. I think they look great. I think it looks, it looks really vintage. Like it looks like it could be like a vintage photograph, like on this duck's wall in his living room. Like it's his grandpappy playing hockey nice. or something yeah that's we're 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 making a backstory for this that's uh, nice, for the stuck that's character <laughs> yeah yeah do you do you usually do that with your illustrations or is this just spontaneous um sometimes i do uh, uh i it ha it used to happen a lot more um when i streamed regularly because my my chat would actually make the backstories of my characters while yeah. i worked um yeah. which is a lot of fun um, Absolutely, but, yeah. Yeah, I love just kind of like brainstorming with everyone on what could possibly be a backstory. It's really cute. Yeah, and now that we have a backstory, I can probably use that as a mock-up. Yeah, exactly. So. There you go. There's this thing called as the Drost effect. It's basically, um, you know, how their illustrations, which is kind of like illustration section. It, like just an easier way to explain it. So an illustration within an illustration within an illustration, and it's all the same. Uh -huh. That's called the Drost effect. I think it's a German derivation. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on it. But um, it's so fun. I could do something like that with these um, as an application. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's so funny. This you duck could... playing in a house in the distance, having this as a painting. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> you could also put this into your duck illustration where he's sitting in the in the armchair reading a book like this yeah this could be on the wall <laughs> or like on the yep. on the fireplace mantle or something you know <laughs> yeah that would be fun oh for all this while i was wondering why i couldn't select this and i just realized that i had locked it <laughs> genius <laughs> relatable 
genius. I'm like, oh, did I mess up my Illustrator file? And this was right when we started streaming. So I just stopped looking at that layer and I just went back to it right now and I realized what I did wrong. I'm like, you okay. just gave up on it. You're like, it's fine. It's fine. Let's work on something else. Let's We're on stream right on. now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly my feeling. Wade is in the chat. Hey, Wade. What's up? Hey, Wade. Okay. I haven't drawn in the like skiing posts for the penguin yet. So it just looks like he's standing like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, he's those getting, are kind of getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were kind of awkward for me to draw so i just like drew them in a hurry <laughs> they're just there i mean okay feel like this makes sense now okay i i love how this is looking nice that's always a good feeling yeah i might use this color palette more often now i like it <laughs> yay <laughs> Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, I mean, I love that it's a challenge to me right now, but the fact that I can like get the contrast and everything in the right place makes sense to me. It's Definitely, fun. that's so great. Oh, maybe these should be nice. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I do that too. Don't worry. It's totally fine. Jane it's says normal. it's been such a great stream, such a fun stream today. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. We're having a lot of fun as well. So thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, Wade said, hi, fun. hi. I've been here most of the time silently judging, judging how great <laughs> these are turning out. <laughs> All right, Wade, fine. <laughs> I'll see you in your stream later. Silently judging. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is a joke. Or maybe not. I don't know. You tell me. We'll find out <laughs> later. Yeah. <laughs> More and Wade stream later. A Wade plug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, Bliss, nice. welcome. Good to see you. Is this locked? No, it's not. I'm actually really surprised at how fast I'm finishing this because usually when I do like a full background it takes me forever <laughs> um so i am pretty happy with how this uh how fast this is coming together yeah that's pretty great i feel like that's why the internet gave up on us because i think we were having a chat about it earlier and i kept saying it's because the interwebs can't handle us together absolutely it's that's why. that's gotta be what it is right there's no other explanation yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not adding any details or like reflections or shadows in the background because I don't think that there'll be like details that you can see. Mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. only shadows and like light in the foreground and I am going to replace the reflections now with color. Oh. And it might come together. It might not. I'm not sure. We'll yet. see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the mantra of every artist. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's see. That's also the mantra of every artist. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Sorry. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was not expected. I was just um trying to get the opacity, but it changed my colors to like gray scale, and I didn't want to do that. And I'm like, oh, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, something. Now I just want to skew it. Anna, uh, Stuart says Annika with the detail on the skis. Stuart's liking the detail on your skis. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. Skis? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The, Maybe he probably meant the the original illustration. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe this one in the back is what he meant. Or those ones. Yeah. There's a lot of skis yeah. and skates yeah. going on in these. I don't even know which one you're referring to. <laughs> yeah, we're just having too much fun with these. How are we on time? Are we good on time? Um, we'll probably go into community entries in just a few minutes. Just like a couple more okay. minutes. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. I'm glad we got some color down. <laughs> yeah, I definitely. We do textures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see how this progresses. Are you planning on working it on it on your personal stream or anything? We could plug your personal yeah. stream yeah i think i might do that on friday when i stream so nice. um, on my behance nice yeah mm -hmm. you guys go follow annika on behance and you can see um some more progress of this illustration um on her personal stream yeah okay let's see not too bad oh this is something that i missed here oh no <laughs> this is hard so much pressure Where did you come from? So I feel like sometimes the downside of using the clipping masks in the drawing side mode here is that you can't select some of these shapes. So you really mm. have to go in and select them. But but I got it. Everything's under control. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is so under control that we are going to head on over to community entries right now. Um, Let's do it. All right, you guys. Um, so. Before I head over, I'm going to mention one more time, if you would like to recreate mine or Annika's illustrations, um, feel free to do so. You can post it on Instagram with hashtag Adobe Live DTIYS or on the Photoshop uh, Discord with uh, under the channel Draw This In Your Style. And we are going to go ahead and hop on over to Instagram right now so we can check out some of those amazing entries. Um, <laughs> so I really, really, love this one a lot um by daryl painting um the <clears throat> the way that they did the um frame the circle frame with the trees is just so pretty and the shapes and the textures the painterly look to everything is just so wonderful um i really just love the atmosphere on this and the the mountains in the background look really beautiful too uh really nice chalk textures I love this one. Yeah, thanks, I like thanks the for... depth. Yeah, there is a lot of depth. It's really nice. And then there's like this glow from the cabin windows, which is really nice. Really, yeah. really great entry. Thanks, Daryl. Oop, shout out to Daryl. <laughs> um, we also have this entry from Bunny Trail Studio. I think uh, they have done quite a few entries for Draw This In Your Style. It's always fun to see their entries. And um, this was one of the ducks um really beautiful trees and textures in the background and i also love the details in the jersey and the color palette that they use it's really beautiful yeah i love the orange and the yellows i think i might add some orange that's, yeah the sunset pretty. looks really pretty yeah <laughs> I really like this one. Uh, just draw something, please. This is the, that's the name of the artist. Um, I think they did both of them actually. Um, and yeah. I, I love the, um, the little, uh, ski cap, the, the little winter hat that they get, that he gave. And it's like coming off of his head. That's so cute. It adds a lot of, um, movement. Um, and the eyes are really adorable as well. Yeah. I love the expression. That's actually Stuart in the chat. Um, oh, okay. Gotcha. 
Stuart, thank you so much. I, I love your uh, your entries. They're so cute and your textures are wonderful. I love the, all of this um, just chalky texture that you have going on in the sky and everything. It almost looks like um, traditional pastel, uh, the texture that you have going on. And he's like catching some air. It's really nice, yeah. nice movement. Um, this there are one, a lot of fun entries. Yeah, this one came in today, and the fun little detail that I loved about this one was the the ads in the background, like yep. as, like the ads on the wall on the wall for the hockey rink. They had Fresco and Adobe ads, which is so cute. Um, such a clever idea. Um, and then he's got like l these little like strap on little skates. Um, really, really adorable, and a little sweater vest. I love it. <laughs> Really yeah, cute. I didn't even notice the fresco and the apple until you <laughs> mentioned it. I, oh, nice detail. <laughs> all right, you guys, uh, that is about it. Uh, that's all the time we have uh, to look at entries. I would love to look at more, but I don't want to get cut off. Um, if you guys would like to check out all of the entries, you can just go search the hashtag Adobe Live DTIYS on Instagram and you can look at all of the lovely entries from um, all of our community artists. Um, but thank you so much, Annika, for joining me today. It was such such fun hanging out with you. I'm so glad we were able to reschedule. Um, and everyone, don't forget to follow Annika on Instagram and check out her work on Behance and her live stream and everything. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun, Annika. Yeah, me too. Thanks for having me, Cody. This is cool. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> I hope to be here again. <laughs> yeah, that would be of course. fun. Of course. Uh, and, and everyone, yeah, everyone in chat, thank you so much for making it really fun for us today and hanging out and chat with us. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.